Okay, now let's go down to the portfolio section. And here what we can do, again go back to Pinegrow, let's make this title editable with customizer. So again we just select the title portfolio and then we click on customizer field and we give it an ID. and the name and again Pinegrow will kind of figure out what we want to do so in this case uh, edit content that's correct and we don't need to change this any of these settings okay and now to display these projects and here we will use the loop to go through all the posts for this page and display them. So let, let's just go here and we will use post and the loop action. And we don't have to do anything. And if we check the code preview, we see what's going on. So here we basically check if we have posts. Then we have a loop that goes through all these posts and outputs them on the page and this situation in this team is a bit specific because we are opening models but now let's uh, focus just on on these images we can see here we have image for each project and we can just say okay this image should be post image and we select we can change the size, medium should be big enough. Okay, let's export the team and see what will happen here. Okay, so now we're getting closer. Our projects are displayed, but we also still have these uh, placeholder projects. So we go back to Pinegrow and what we want is just display the first one in a loop that will display all the projects and for all others we will select them first and then say don't export. Now Pangra will simply export, ignore these elements when exporting the team. Let's check it out. Yeah, here it is. So we only see our posts. But if we click on them, we still get the placeholders. Not only that, we get the same placeholder for each project. So let's take a look at how these models are done. So here we have and let's click Alt, Collapse, so we have simplified structure. So here we have models that display information about each of each individual project. And now we also have to use the loop in a similar way to display those. And then we have to connect like the link that is here with displaying the correct modal uh, that we see here. So first let's uh, select one model and we can use test links to bring it up. Here it is. Then deselect test clicks because we want to be able to select elements on the page. And again we will use the loop to display one model for each post on the page and then we can use like we we can use uh, post actions like for this we will say this is post title this is post image and this is post content and again for this other po other um, models we will use don't export because we just want our loop to go through first and make as many copies as there are posts on the page. 
we are almost done but what we need now is we need a way to connect this each modal that will be displayed with the loop with a project link and if we click I'll just select uh, test clicks so here in this list we have links each project has a link and let's take a look at the at the HTML code and here we, we see the href it points to the ID of the modal that should be displayed and then if we look down to the models we see that each model has an ID that is then referenced uh, in these links so first of all we need to give a proper ID to every portfolio model that we will display with our loop so we could use the post ID for that or we can use another trick so let's close this and let's open PHP code preview and we can use a kind of a special feature that the loop action has uh, in Pinegrow and like when we tell it that the first item should have a specific class like first and this class it's not really important it we will not do anything with it but the side effect of having this setting here is that now our loop has a counter variable that contains like the, the item number of each post in the loop and we can use this variable let's copy it to give the modal correct ID attribute so how we will do that we will use the PHP code action let's click on it to add it to the um, uh, top element of the model and here we'll say oh, with this action we want to set the attribute the attribute name is ID and the function should be portfolio item dash quotes and then we input the item number and we say echo this should be displayed so now let let's take a look at this here we have the resulting code so id attribute equals and then we use php to output portfolio item dash item number and now we can use the similar approach up here on these uh, links so we select the link element and again we say php code and we will set the attribute href attribute but here we have to add the hash sign because this is now the selector for the element with this id and again echo so that we display it so now we have href equals and here we then output the uh, portfolio hash portfolio item and item number so one more thing we forgot to do and let, let's export the page to see what will happen so nothing basically and the, the reason is so now we are using the item number but uh, if we look at our loop the item number is not used here so we again have to use this trick we have to specify something in this field classes for the first item so that Pinegrow will count the items 
let's say, first, and it doesn't really matter what we say because we, we are not using this feature directly. We are using the side effect, this item number variable, in order to set the correct href for the link. Okay, let's test it out. Okay, so now when we click on the thumbnail of the project, we bring up the model with information about the project. So let's quickly take a look at what, what we did. So we used the loop to display the thumbnail, project thumbnails, and then down at the end of the page, we use the same the loop to display models for these projects that contain all the information about the projects. And then we used, uh, we forced the post and the loop function to count the items with the item number variable. And then we use the PHP code function to set the ID attribute with this number on the models and then to reference this ID in the links on the project thumbnails. And we again, we are using the item number and pay attention like to these quotes, they need to be here. This is like the snippet of a PHP code so if you are familiar with PHP, then th this is all natural. If not, uh, please be careful. Every character has its purpose and it has to be there. And then what this does together is like here we have basically two loops, one displaying thumbnails, one displaying the models, and then we use this trick with item number to connect these links with their appropriate models.